Hey guys, it's Sarah here. So this video was kind of uh, some clips of my athletic training, uh, my workouts where I'm trying to really improve my performance. And that's the kind of the thing, what, what, because you could say, okay, if I do athletic workouts, so I train for explosiveness, there's speed and so on, there's these attributes. But the main thing that separates other training from the, from the athletic training is the approach that I have. My approach is to in increase the performance as opposed to, for example, my, my goal would be, my approach could be that I'm trying to improve my mobility or so on and so on. But this increasing performance comes down to preparing yourself for something, a, a specific purpose that is outside of your body. So you can imagine any, any sport, there's a tennis, maybe it's football, maybe it's fighting, you know, martial arts in, in different manners. So there's this competition that you're preparing your body for. So for me, this is obviously, you know, more related to, the, to martial arts, MMA, for example. So in, in that sense, performing some, some outside, outside specific purpose. So that is how I kind of think about athletic training. But there's also another way to, to speak about this. And you can say that it's, or you can call it hard style of training in general. So hard style of training is this thing that I'm talking about, that athletic training, you're focusing on performance and it's very good kind of making your body, you know, uh, strong, powerful, athletic and, and prepare your body for any skill that you want to, for example, do. You will make your body good at doing certain tasks. That's what it's for, for the outside purpose. So my own training is now mainly it's, it's, it's all about the performance at the moment. But no one, you know, the, the thing that most people do, they start with this hard style. They start with the hard style of training, never go to the soft style of training that I'm going to talk about soon. But you should always start with the softer style of training, which doesn't focus on outside. It focuses on just on the body, just on the inside, on the quality of your body and creating a foundation of strength, mobility and overall just healthy, naturally functioning body that I've been talking about, for example, in the athlete video, the ideal video, that this is the, this is the foundation that you need to have before you go on to the hard style of training. So to get a better idea of this soft style training, you know, think about, for example, yoga. You can think about actually movement training and movement flow that I've had also many videos of that. That's very soft style training, the mobility training also. So the, the idea there is to kind of make your, you're focusing really on the body, and, and to make your body sort of, uh, how would I say, more, more limber, more loose, healthier, more mobile, that's the idea, more balanced, more balanced body. That's the soft style of training. You really focus on body, not on outside task uh, that it would be in, in some sport or competition. So this is the fundamental start that most people skip and kind of avoid this type of training. But it's very, it's fundamental. Because if you only do the hard style of training, you're most likely going to, going to break your body because it doesn't really take care of the bigger picture and it doesn't take care of the weaknesses that you have in your body. If you want to take care of these weaknesses, heal your body, then you need to use the softer style of training and that's also the starting point, creating that foundation of strength and mobility that you need if you want to be able to withstand the intensity of the hard style of the training. So obviously for maximizing your results, uh, you need to combine both, both styles of this training because they support one, each other. But there's also this thing where they're no more kind of separate. So for example, I can't say that I do purely hard style of training. I will say that I do athletic training, but the reason is this. So I'm focusing on performance, okay? I'm, I'm focusing on performance, but the soft style of focus on the body and quality is still integrated, even though I do sort of hard style of training. So although my purpose is to, to prepare my body for that outside task, <coughs> task or function, I'm still, even though I train, I have that same focus that I would have when I do mobility training. So that's the sort of next level. And that's what I would say an enlightened approach because you have those both as one, both as one. And, and if I do mobility training, you know, you would say that, well, that's for the, you know, to make my body healthier and more balanced and so on. But it has that purpose that is beyond that mobility training. The purpose is, be, 
The purpose is beyond making my body healthier or making it move better. And that purpose is the performance. Because I know that it will, that, that mobility training that I do, it helps me to perform better as well. So you can start by training, uh, practicing this style separately. Obviously starting with the soft style, moving on the hard style. But then understanding that they, they can be kind of be one, one with each other, these both styles. And that's how they really work the best. And it's also, well, the Movement 20XX course, it has those both approaches integrated into each other. And that's the, that's the whole idea. That's why it works. That, that is what gives the best results. Combining both styles for the most balanced results in performance and in the health of your body. So if you limit yourself to just one style of training, you're going to automatically, you're going to limit your, your, your progress, you're going to limit your potential. So remember, combine these two and always start with the soft style of training. If you're just starting and you're figuring out, well, how do I get myself, you know, this, this high performance physique, you're going to start with the soft style of training, focusing on your body really. And from there you move on when you're ready, you move, the, you move on to this, this hard style training focusing on outside competition or tasks and that's about it there's an article uh, on my website about fitness.com and you can the link is in this in description i suggest you read it there's a good more there's more information there about this subject and that's about it and i'll see you soon take care